The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, Sandy Vicani with Insurance Agency Marketing. Um, just wanted to say thank you so much for uh, attending this webinar this morning. Just so greatly appreciate it. I oversee the life department and um, just wanted to let you know we are so grateful again you took time out of your schedule to go ahead and attend this webinar. A uh, few things I'm going to go over before I hand it over to Marty Smith, dear friend of IMS with Security Mutual, great information that he will go over with you. Until uh, then, let me go over a couple um, house cleaning items. We have uh, something for all of our agents called a business builder. And with that business builder, when you entrust us with a referred producer and that referred producer contracts with us, we send you a $50 check to say thank you. Uh, also, when that same referred producer places business with us, you get 20 basis points on every piece of placed business that they write thereafter. So that is indefinite. So as long as they're placing business, you get that 20 basis point override. That does not come out of your commission. It does not come out of their commission. That comes directly from IMS as a thank you. I also wanted to let you know that we have uh, something for all agents called a marketing reimbursement account. And that marketing reimbursement account, uh, we put in $100 of marketing reimbursement money for every $100,000 of premium placed with us. And that's life, annuity, MedSEP. Uh, long-term care, a combination up thereof. So for example, if you have an uh, invoice, a business invoice for $1,000, you purchased a computer or a seminar system, uh, you submit that invoice to us. We pay up to 50% of that invoice um, as long as that money is there in your account. We also have something for brand new agents called a new producer builder. And that new producer builder, again, first six months of getting contracted with us, uh, when you hit $100,000 of placed business, you can choose a $750 cash bonus or a two-year producer website that we create and manage here for you. If you want to wait and you think, gosh, I'm going to do $300,000 of placed business with us uh, in your first six months, you can choose a $2,000 marketing rate reimbursement uh, check. So again, that marketing reimbursement account we just spoke about, we'll put $2,000 in there for you. You can choose a $1,500 gift card, or you can choose a social security program and 3,000 piece mailing. If you think, gosh, I'm going to go gangbusters here in my first six months, I'm going to wait until I reach that half million dollar level, you can choose a 4,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with Dave Pimper a 5,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with another top producer of ours, Matt Gill, or you can choose my absolute favorite, truly is my favorite, is a Ritz-Carlton Travel Rewards Getaway where you plan your own getaway. And again, this comes directly from IMS. This does not come out of anyone's uh, commissions whatsoever. We also have a very strong back office support, and what we try to do is help you work smarter and not harder. And by doing that, we assist with uh, running quotes, sending out forms. Uh, we help with case design assistance. Uh, gosh, we do coaching. We set you up on paperless contracting. Real important as well is once we get you contracted, we just don't end our relationship there with you. We are very adamant that we follow any cases that you bring in from submission to commission. So what that means is when you submit a case to us, we will scrub that application, make sure nothing is missing, order any exams and labs that may be needed, and then follow that case every three days through the underwriting process all the way until commissions are paid. And we wanna make sure that everything goes smoothly, uh, make sure that we stay on top of all of your cases. Again, just to make sure that that case goes smoothly and you get paid as quickly as possible. We have a strong marketing team and with that marketing team, you can talk to Sean or Jacob and they can help you with handouts or flyers. You can do postcards. Uh, 
you can, gosh, if you have a logo and it needs refreshed or you don't have a logo, we can help create one for you. Different business cards and stationery. If you have a website that's maybe a little tired or you don't have a website and you'd like one, we can create and manage that for you. Any on online newsletters as well as social media. So social media right now is so big and if you you know, aren't familiar with advertising on Facebook, we can help do that for you, which is huge right now. So please give them a call. Great opportunity to expand your business with the help of IMES. We have a great website, great tools on that website, www.iamsinc.com. That's the same website that we in the Life Department go to for running term or UL quotes, uh, it's always accessible 24-7. You can get forms online. You can do your quotes. There's current industry links on what's happening and how it'll affect you as an agent, uh, as well as current annuity news and annuity grid that shows our top five fixed annuities and our top um, index annuities, as well as a long-term care grid. This is also where you would go to register for any webinars or to look at our webinar schedule, as well as go to any of our recorded webinars that you may want. We record every single webinar, and we put that in our webinar library. I'm going to send out a poll question right now, and this is for IMS wealth management and checking yes is just asking if you want more information. So when the DOL ruling came out, we thought it was really important for us to have uh, agents that are able to capture as much uh, of their clients' monies as possible. And by doing that, we created an IMS Wealth Management Division. And what that, what we were hoping for and hoped for is that that would increase your revenue by managed money fees. Uh, also, it improves your client retention because it allows you to keep all that money in-house instead of them having to go outside of your relationship to another uh, fiduciary or advisor to get those additional um, services. And then it also helps strengthen your client's relationship because you're viewed completely differently by your client as an advisor. You're now considered a fiduciary. So everything has changed with that DOL. By checking yes, we'll just give you the current information, what you need to know, how we're able to help you, and answer any questions that you have. Um, so if I could get everyone to uh, check yes on that, we'll go and we'll move on to the next slide here. And I'll go ahead and I will get that closed out. We also have a Life and Annuity Academy. Again, I'll send out a question on that. This is a great opportunity. We have agents all across the United States apply. We had close to 1,000. Uh, we take between 35 and 40. It's an all-expense paid trip. We pay for airfare, lodging, meals. It's a two-day training. Our one that we're having coming up is October 17th through the 19th. And we go over different sales ideas and strategies. We also unravel indexed annuities, when to use them, when to use uh, start income, you know, different threats and trends in the industry, as well as overcoming client objections. We go over top turnkey seminar systems, whether that is having cookies uh, and coffee in a library to your more uh, formal seminars where you're having a sit-down dinner. We go over large life case marketing, uh, different insurance concepts, including this infinite banking uh, in detail. We go over different income writers, tr uh, transfer tools. Again, uh, checking yes is just stating that you want additional information. Uh, we are ranked nationally um, and are known industry-wide for our Life and Annuity Academy. We're so very proud of that. And so I hope that we can get as many of you to um, show some interest and ask some questions. So here at IMS, not only do you or qualify or can qualify for our different trips through carriers, including security mutuals. We also offer a trip and our next marketing summit is next year, August 25th through the 29th in Naples, Florida for you and a guest. It'll be at the Ritz-Carlton. 
And we give long qualification periods. So we start January 1st of 2018 and go all the way through June 30th of 2019. And how you and a guest can get there is a combination of either $3 million of excuse me, of annuity premium. You can do $1.5 million of Medicare SUP, 2.25 of single premium. You can do $250,000 of life target premium or $600,000 of long-term care premium. So our trips are, again, for you and a guest, the only way to get there is to start riding with IMS, and we just hope to see as many of you there as possible. So I'm going to change and turn this over to Marty Smith, who um, is, again, such a great friend, him and Security Mutual of IMS. He's going to go over absolute fantastic information on their products and how to use them. So Marty, if you'd like to take over, that would be great. That sounds great. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I'm looking at my screen right now. Hopefully everybody sees the, the headline says capitalizing a whole life policy. We do. Riders, riders that maximize flexibility. All right. Very good. Very good. So let me just say a little bit about myself. You know, I've been in the business for over 30 years. Uh, I am a practitioner and a and a and an advocate of the infinite banking concept. Uh, Security Mutual Life, uh, that's located up in Binghamton, New York. I'm located in New York City. Uh, we we've been around since for the past hundred uh, the past hundred thirty two years. We've paid dividends for the last hundred twenty six consecutive years. It's, uh, you know, we operate out of the same building in Binghamton, New York, the home office there since 1904. Some of the employees are, I believe, have uh, remained from that time there. So it's, uh, it's, it's a very experienced group. There's only around 300 employees. We're the, I like to say we're the biggest small company you ever want to deal with there. Uh, we've got such experience. There's the, for us, we're a relationship company. And I mean that sincerely. And when I say that, what I mean is if you ever have a question, whatever, there is my contact information. Uh, Marty Smith, you'll see it again at the end. You call me on my cell phone, 347-443-2178 or email me anytime. I'm happy to answer any questions you have and help you with any product design that you might have, especially when it comes to this idea over here of uh, uh, of the infinite banking concept. That is what Security Mutual is known for. That is what we support. That is what we love. So what I'm going to do is today is I'm going to talk about riders, riders that make your whole life insurance policy sizzle. And when I talk about whole life, as uh, my sidekick Mike Lighty always hears me say, I believe whole life insurance dividend pay. Whole life insurance is the greatest financial product that's ever been created. So here we go. Hold on, everybody. We're going to start talking about our riders here at Security Mutual. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at all these different riders. Now, what I'm showing here is a handout because I think it's the best way to for me to show it uh, blown up. I also have this handout for everybody who's interested. You should contact either Sandy or me, and we'll be able to share that with you about the whole life products. This is what I call a base primer. Today, I'm gonna to focus on our three main riders that make the infinite banking concept work, our enhanced paid up additions rider, our combo rider, which offers incredible flexibility, and our level term rider that you can add to our whole life, which will be for 10, 15, 20, and even 30 years if you care to do that there. But I'm gonna show you examples. I'm going to take you step by step through a sequence of illustrations to show you how these writers work. And it's going to be a building process. So please watch carefully. All right. And again, if you have any questions, always pick up the phone. The other thing about our writers, again, is, you know, we have a chronic illness benefit writer, which is a little different from a long-term care benefit. The 
The qualifications are the same. It's two ADLs or uh, cognitive impairment. The difference between chronic illness and long-term care is long-term care, you could get better. In a chronic illness, you're not expected to get better. That is the only difference. Again, we have uh, disability waiver premium. We have uh, premiums paid in advance, so you can put money in ahead of time and then pay premiums through that at a discounted rate. All right, so let's start with an all-based contract. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, Security Mutual has four whole life products, a 10 pay, a paid up at 65, paid up at 100, and a 121. I'm gonna use our 121 product. I'm gonna use a female 45 standard non-smoker. So she's gonna be my baseline here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you to what I call the spec box on the illustration. And it's just gonna show you, we have a base policy of a million dollar death benefit. The annual premium is 13,810. There's a $75 policy fee. So the total premium is 13,885. Straightforward, this is it. That's what the client would have to pay for a million dollar policy like that. All right, so let's take a look at the illustration at the tabular detail, and I'm gonna show you over here the guaranteed values and the non-guaranteed values. So we see our client paying 13,885. When is the break-even point on a guaranteed basis? It's gonna be in year 17, right? On a non-guaranteed basis, if she paid that premium, it would be paid up in year 15. And the cash value at that point in time would be 211,000. 225. All right. So that is our base that I'm operating with for the million dollar policy. All right. So what I'm going to do is in order to capitalize this policy at Security Mutual, again, life insurance company don't like to use the term banking. So Security Mutual came up with the word capitalized whole life. So we're going to capitalize this policy and we're going to use our enhanced paid up additions rider. We have a very snazzy, colorful two-page brochure that uh, I'm happy to send to you, or it's part of this uh, piece that you can see. There are some uh, key elements to it. Let me just go to the let me just go to the features that I want to focus on. Literally, you can put this enhanced paid-up additions writer on the policy, so you can increase your cash value. Uh, from age zero to 85. Again, it's for males and females. The wonderful thing about the enhanced paid up additions rider is Security Mutual has a table shape program. As long as your client is table two, and that's even after the table shape, we will allow you to put on the enhanced paid up additions rider. And those insureds who are rated at table two can receive the enhanced paid up addition rider at standard rates. It's really phenomenal that you want to take advantage of that. The minimum annual premium for this is 180 bucks. Uh, the maximum premium is, hey, the sky's the limit. You want to put in a million bucks? You might have, as long as your client can uh, be approved for it and the home office is willing to take it, guess what? You could do that. Again, you can pay on an on different premium modes, annual, semi-quarterly, or monthly. Uh, you know, we do allow, let's say you set this up in the first year, you could put, in, and you had your paid up additions writer, we would allow you in the first year only to put in an additional paid up additions amount at any time during the cycle of that first year. We also have a rule that says after the first year, you need to you can put in up to 125 percent of the paid up additions rider amount or a minimum of 75. if you don't put in a minimum of 75 it opens up a two-year window we like to say where you have two years to make up all those premiums cumulatively so it works out pretty nice obviously there are dividends paid on this and you you will have the disability waiver of premium so Let's say a client decides to put in a large amount as paid up additions. Guess what? That's protected by the disability waiver of premium too. You just can't miss it. That's it before you have the disability. All right. So that's protected there. All right. So here we go. Now what I'm going to show you is our, again, our female 45 standard. 
we're going to put the base and then we're going to add the enhanced paid up editions rider. So if you look at the spec box now, you'll see that it's a million dollars as the base policy. There's our same $13,885 there. But now what I've added is $32,362.07 as the paid up edition rider premium. And that's on an annual basis. So how did I come to that amount? It's very simple. I just go down to the bottom of the page on Security Mutual Life Illustrations, and you'll see that we have some numbers down there. It says MP. MP stands for MEC Premium. You see the MEC Premium is 46247 and 7 cents, right? If I go back, if I go back up, you'll notice that's exactly what we put in to the policy, right? So over here, our total premium is going to be 46,247. Now I could put in anything in between there. So that premium came out to 32,000. So I have the opportunity to put in a, a few dollars or I could put in up to 32,000. When you're looking at the tabular detail over here, notice that the break even point, when we, we were just doing this as an all base contract, the premium broke even in year 17. If I add up the paid up additions value, what's gonna happen? Well, cash value is gonna start accumulating right away. Where's my break even point on a guaranteed basis? It's in year nine. Wow. If I look over here on a non-guaranteed basis, it the break even point for the premium is in year seven, $325,621. Notice also up in the first year, we put in 32,000 as the paid up additions rider on a guaranteed basis, 30,815 shows up. The annual dividend in that year is going to be 493. If you add those two numbers together, and this is, works in the first year only, whatever, the total surrender value is 31,308. So, even though there is an 8% fee on the paid up editions rider, normally 96 to 97% of the paid up editions rider premium shows up as cash value, which you have access to. Hey, and by the way, when can you, when you, can access, when can you access your money in Security Mutual Life? Put it in day one, guess what happens? Get it out day two, or actually, day 11 after the 10 day free look. So you have access to cash immediately once you put money inside the policy. And for people who want to do infinite banking and need the access to that cash right away, they have it definitely, certainly in the first few days, certainly in the first month, always during the first year. So now let's see how soon will the premiums offset? All right, let's say I wanted to stop paying premiums over here. If I do that, I just click on my illustration system, and what it tells me is if I put in five payments of 46247 this policy would offset in year five with no further out-of-pocket premiums being due. Now, always remember in a whole life policy, premiums always get paid, right? That's the definition of whole life. There's two ways to pay the premium. You either pay it through premium outlay, that is your out of pocket, or paid up addition surrendered. All right, so that's what happens over here. When we offset the premium, and, it, and because of dividends and the cash values that have built up, an internal mechanism kicks in, and that is the paid up addition surrendered. All right, so that's how that's gonna work over there. Notice, how the death benefit increases substantially because of those paid up additions. Not only will the cash value increase, but the total death benefit is gonna increase dramatically too. So now, the next question that comes up and the next rider that we have to use is, what if I really wanted to maximize my cash value? What is the maximum amount of cash value that I can have in the contract starting from day one? And what's interesting about that phenomenon is this. 
What we want to do is we want to create what we call a maximum efficient contract. And the way to do that is we need to use our level term rider, right? So our level term rider, again, there's here's the colorful brochure that describes what it, how it works there. And it's just very straightforward there. Over here, I'm showing you the level term rider ages of when you can put it on a policy. Notice you no know, most of the time it's it's between age 18 and age 70. It's a little different for the limited pay products, right? About what you can use and how it's done there. And again, what happens in terms of the level term rider is that the minimum face amount is a hundred thousand. It is convertible anytime to uh, age 75. Okay, if the uh, if the product, uh, if the age of the client is that there. But you always have to be careful when converting this outside of the policy because uh, you don't want it to become a mech. And more importantly is the disability waiver premium also works for the level term rider. So now let's take a look at another illustration. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the base, the enhanced paid up additions rider and the level term rider in order to maximize the initial cash value. I'm gonna minimize the base, maximize the cash value. Why would I wanna do that? Well, perhaps because I wanna use, uh, get a, an amount of money there that is available to me to make a purchase at some point using the banking concept. So here again, I'm looking at the spec box. What I've done for my female 45 is to use a base policy, the lowest base policy I can of 100,000. The annual premium for that is 1,464. There's my $75 policy fee. What I've done is to add a 10 year level term rider from a million dollars because the rule that we have is you can have 10 times the base maximum as a level term rider. So for my female 45 standard, the, the cost for that rider for the level term is $880. But what that does, it allows me to put in $29,280 into the policy. So my total premium here would be $31,699 with my death benefit, total death benefit with the base, with the level term, and with the death benefit that the paid up additions writer buys at this client's age and underwriting class of 104,000 equals 1200. 1,204,710, all right? But now I wanna point out something else here. Notice down in the bottom right-hand corner under MP, it says that my neck premium is 49,935. My question is why couldn't I put in 49,000 then or increase what I put into the paid up additions rider? And the answer to that is the one little thing that Security Mutual has done is to put a limitation on the base policy. So I can have 20 times the base. So if you look at the 1,464, what is 20 times the base? Well, 20 times the base is going to be $29,280, right? So that is my limitation right there, all right? But again, think about that in. I put in $29,280. What is my cash surrender value year one? Well, on a guaranteed basis under total surrender value, it's $27,880. There's a $446 dividend. In the first year, my total surrender value, and this is mostly coming from the paid up additions rider, is $28,000. 326. What percentage of that is of the paid up additions rider? That's my 96, 97% there. If you look down here under guaranteed values in year seven, under guaranteed values, I put in 31,699 times seven. I've already broken even with 224,000. On a non-guaranteed basis, which includes the dividends, I break even in year five. Actually, I'm so close to breaking even in years three and years four, but just to be technical about this, 
in year five, I officially break even with my cumulative premiums paid. And notice how the death benefit has gone up substantially. It's gone up from 1.2 million to 1.6 in year five to $2 million. In year 11, what happens with my level term rider? Well, my level term rider drops off the policy, but it's convertible with no evidence of insurability to the client. So they can start a brand new policy with that million dollar term rider. Would that be good for a, uh, a female doctor, professional business executive who looks what they see over here? Absolutely. So think about this. What I normally do if I add my 10 year level term rider is I like keeping it on for 10 years, okay? So if I look at that illustration where I'm going to offset it in year 10 or stop paying premiums, notice some things on the illustration. I put in 31,699 for 10 years or 316,000. 990. What's my total surrender value in year 10? Wow. It's 372,964. What is my total death benefit? $2 million. In year 11, I'm not going to pay premiums in this illustration sequence there. What is my contract premium? Well, my contract premium is going to be my base premium plus the $75 policy fee. What this is saying is that I can't put in $31,000 at this time. The only premium that is really due is the base premium, right? The term has dropped off. I can convert that million dollar term. What does this policy look like in year 11? Well, in year 11, my cash value has grown almost 20 by $20,000 to 391,000. And that's under total surrender value year 11. And my total death benefit is 1,113,000. The other million dollars, what am I going to do with that? Well, if I'm talking to my client, I'm going to say, Doc, you put in 31,000. Would you look how much it's grown? Do you, why not continue to put that money in? Where is the best parking place to put your money? Well, the best parking place to put your money is a dividend paying whole life insurance policy. Why not continue to contribute to the policy? or a brand new policy, what happens if your health has changed? This is the perfect opportunity for them to do that, right? But take a look over here. When does 372, when does 372,000 become 740,000? It's gonna be, it's gonna happen down here if you look between years, year 24 and 25. That means my money is growing at almost 5% a clip over here with no further premiums being due. Pretty neat, pretty neat. That's why every one of you out there needs to own a policy just like this so you can take it out, show it to your clients, make them understand how to do this infinite banking concept, make them understand how to put money away. Because what's the most important thing people have to do in this life? They got to save money. They don't need to invest money. They need to save money. And the best saving place for your money is in permanent life insurance. All right. So here's something that I want to hopefully shock you with, and that's this whole idea. Well, Marty, what happens if I want to offset this? What if I just press that button on the illustration system? How's this going to work if I fully offset this contract? Well, when is it going to happen? Guess what? The full offset occurs when? Year one. So what I have in effect here is a single pay non-MEC policy. This is a single pay non-MEC. Could I, I could have done this as a, 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 a modified endowment contract, but look at this. Look how powerful that this contract is. Again, at a certain point in time, all your money is going to grow, but this is what it cost me over here in order to have this million dollar death benefit for all those years, all right? This works out sometimes in bigger cases, and I'm gonna show you some of that design a little bit later. All right, so here we go. So the question is, 
there was another feature on the enhanced paid up editions rider that was the ability to put in additional payments into the policy it's this idea of what if i was going to lend myself money or what if i was going to lend money to others say like i'm sitting here with my uh sidekick mike lighty now if i was going to lend money to mike would i want to lend money to him at the the lowest rate or the highest rate possible well knowing mike whatever i want to i want to gouge him as much as possible i want him to pay more than he has to because guess what that money needs to come back to whom it's coming back to me it's coming back to my bank so i would want mike to pay as much as possible so let's say i had mike pay instead of five percent loan i tell mike you you want this money you're gonna have to pay me back ten percent well that's great where can that money go well guess what that money can go back into a dividend paying whole life insurance policy if i set it up correctly so that using the enhanced paid up additions rider which allows me to put in 125 percent of my paid up additions rider to do it so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to show you another baseline policy i'm going to use a, a typical 40 60 split 40 is going to be the base that's going to be ten thousand. 15 is going to be the paid up additions rider I'm going to add a 10-year level term rider of 500000 to provide additional death benefit. So in effect, I'm going to put in $25,000 for 10 years, and I'm going to use our 10-pay policy. It's, I like to say it's kind of like having a quarter of a million dollar bank. Potentially, I'm going to end up with 271000 of cash value after 10 years. Let's take a look at what that looks like. And I would say this is what we would normally do. This, I switched it over to a male 45 although Mike's much older than that. No, he's not that much older than that, but just teasing Mike. But over here, if you take a look, this is how it would be viewed on the illustration. You know, it's $25,000. It's an all base, you know, it's, uh, I, I split it up by, uh, I split it up so it's 10,000 is the base, 25, 15 is the paid up additions rider. All right, so that's how it would look. Now, in order to do this, what I want to do is show you that you can add an additional 25% to the paid up additions rider starting in year two. So then if I was, uh, if I wanted to make a loan to somebody and I wanted them to pay back extra interest, guess where it could go? It could go back into this policy. So instead of putting in 25,000, the maximum premium I can put into this contract using the enhanced paid up additions rider is 28,547. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So instead of putting in just two, 250, I'm putting in 281,000. Where does all that money show up? Guess what? It shows up in my policy under total surrender value. In year 10, it's $310,000, 354. Pretty cool. Every dollar that I put into this policy shows up where? It shows up back in my contract, right? Are the dividends gonna be higher because I put more money in? Yes. Is the death benefit gonna be higher? Yes. That's the way it works. The more you capitalize a policy, the more you capitalize your whole life policy, the greater the dividends, the greater the cash values, the greater the death benefit. This is a cash accumulation machine. What people need is a lifelong cash flow, money management, savings, acquisition, protection, and wealth creation system. And that's what we're building here for our clients and for ourselves. If you're not doing this for yourself, you're, not, you're doing yourself a disservice. All right. So now, that's a lot of flexibility. But guess what? You can have even more flexibility by using Security Mutual Life's Combo Rider. So hang on now, I'm gonna take you through this pretty quickly about our Combo Rider. So to increase premium flexibility, we have a wonderful four page colorful brochure, which uh, is available to you to understand how it all works. What I wanna do is I want to show, just talk about some of the highlights over here. Again, for our purposes, the combo rider features issue ages. Normally it's available only between 18 and 84 in New York, 18 and 18 and 65. Sorry, let me go back. It's only 64 and 65, New York, non-New York. Okay. 
when you have this, the minimum combo rider is 50,000. That's the face amount. Again, we have the same rule. You can have a combo rider that's face amount that's 10 times the base, right? There is a minimum combo rider to get it started, right? But it is a one-year term rider there. So the so the death benefit, the term rider is going to increase every year. The maximum you can put into the combo rider in any one year is 250,000. Is that a lot of money? Let's take a look and see how that works there. But what you should understand over here, again, is this is issuable to a table two, right? So that's how this is going to work. Uh, it is convertible. Again, in this instance, whatever, it's convertible up to age 65. And let me say this plainly so you understand it. The combo rider is a combination of one-year term and paid-up additions. That's what you have to understand. It's one-year term and paid-up additions. And what it's going to do is buy down the term death benefit and convert it into paid-up additions death benefit. So here we go. I'm going to use the minimum base and the maximum combo rider death benefit. And I have my female 45 against standard. All right, so we've seen this before. The, the base policy for my female 45 is 1,464 with my $75 policy fee. For the million dollar combo rider, notice it's the same amount. The death, the, the premium is the 880. So my total uh, annual premium is $2,419, right, to get this started. What's my neck premium? It's 4,145. That's down in the bottom right hand corner. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. Ah, what's the problem? So over here, I'm showing my LP121 product, female 45 standard. I put in my contract premium of $2,419. It buys a little, you know, because there was a little bit of uh, paid up additions there. It, my surrender value is 145. The paid up additions uh, bought $544 of paid up additions death benefit reducing my term death benefit to 999,556. If you add those two numbers, the 544 plus that number, the 999, it equals a million. But what happens in the next year? Wow, the term death benefit dropped off. The combo rider dropped off. Why? Because I didn't fund it. I, could, I should have paid more. So this is my suggestion when using the combo rider. Solve for the minimum death benefit, but then solve for a few other things. What I would say is, if we're using it, well, I mean, I'm just using the minimum base as an example. Do solve for the combo rider premium that will keep it in force for at least 10 years. So in order to do that, I've made the calculation. And I'm the premium that would, the combo rider premium that would keep the million dollar combo rider in place is 2,800 dollars so my total premium i'm going to pay for the next 10 years is 4339 but notice something what is my neck premium on the bottom of the page over here hopefully all of you can see it it's 45595 what's that oh that is my neck premium so take a look over here here's what i'm going to pay i'm going to pay my 4300 $99 for 10 years. Actually, I'm going to try to pay for it all years, but look what happens after year 10. My term death, death benefit has stayed relatively flat, right? And then when I continue to do that, because of the cost of the combo rider, my term death benefit is dropping like a stone, right? This I'm showing you all the ways not to do it right now, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you the way to do it. What you need to do is solve for the minimum base and the minimum combo rider, and then solve for the minimum base and the maximum combo rider premium. So if we look over here, look at this tremendous difference here. 
I put in a hundred thousand dollar base policy. There's my one thousand four hundred sixty four plus seventy five policy dollar policy fee. The maximum premium I can put into this, or my neck premium, is forty four thousand fifty six dollars. That is the maximum premium I can put in. And what's my total neck premium? It's the forty five thousand five hundred ninety five. So I'm putting in the maximum I can. What does that look on the tabular detail? Take a look at this. This says, and this and on the combo writer, it breaks it off into guaranteed values and non-guaranteed values. I'm just going to show you the guaranteed right now. I'm going to put in 45,595. Notice over here, because of that amount, my paid up additions death benefit was. 155,000. My term death benefit at the end of year one is 844,000. If I add those two numbers together, that adds up to a million. The next year, I pay my contract premium again, the maximum of 45,595. My PUA death benefit goes up to 304. My term death benefit is now down to 695. Third year, Paid up additions rider buys is a total of 449 death benefit there. By year eight, I've paid the maximum I can into the policy. And on a guaranteed basis, I have a million dollars of guaranteed paid up additions rider. If you add up the cumulative premiums that I paid into the contract on a guaranteed basis by year nine, all my money is back in that policy. Wow. But the combo rider is designed for what? What is this all about? This is all about flexibility. So what I want to show you over here, what I want to show you over here is this. Year one, I put in 45,595. All right. Year two and year three, I just put in the minimum policy base policy right the term death benefit actually goes up there but in year four what i'm able to do is i put in a hundred thousand dollars what happened i got an inheritance i made a sale of a property i received a bonus but look what happens in year four year four i put in a hundred thousand dollars it buys me an additional three hundred thousand dollars of term death benefit my term death my uh, paid up additions death benefit my term death benefit is now down to 534. look at this in years five six seven again i just pay the minimum premium in year nine i put in a hundred ninety three thousand dollars into the contract Tell me that you know of another whole life contract that will allow you this much flexibility. In year eight, I put in the maximum amount and I could do it in any crazy, I could do this almost in any crazy way I wanted to do it. But what happens is when I put in the maximum amount, I buy down all the term death benefit of the combo rider. It's all transformed into paid up additions, rider death benefit, right? On a non-guaranteed basis, once you have these illustrations in front of you, notice the numbers will be slightly different because what happens over here, I have all the dividends. Again, every dollar I put into this contract is here. What I have is the total death benefit. It's all lined up. It's, it works just that way. What I would like to say is always be, always be careful to solve for the minimum premium and the maximum combo rider premium. So you know what's going on. What happened recently is a client called in into the home office. They set up the they set up the premium just like this. It was set up so that it was the minimum. They called the home office, spoke to one of the customer service people, and they said the customer service people said when they asked how much money can I put into the contract, they said, oh, you can put in uh, four thousand one hundred forty-five. But they said, no, no, the agent said I can put in a lot more, and they could. What the customer service person didn't see was, or didn't calculate was 
the maximum combo rider premium because in effect what they were able to do is and understand this the combo rider has a cumulative net calculation so what's not used in the first year can be used in the later years so when the client finally found out the correct answer it was in the second year they could put in 88,771 the client was thrilled they were excited they told their the client told it was a it was a kid in his 20s whatever he told his father about the policy the father went out and bought a policy right after that tremendous all right what's not used in year one can be used in later years that's it so what i have over here is i solve for the maximum combo rider using 250,000 using the minimum base premium and i'm just going to show you this really quickly since time is running out I have a $600,000 death benefit. In order to put in $250,000, I need a $6 million combo rider. Is this possible? Yes. People who love to flip real estate and have lots of cash flow, they might be able to qualify for something like this to put in $250,000 in the beginning. This is how it would look like on a guaranteed basis. So they could put in almost a quarter of a million dollars for eight years and buy down the entire six million dollar premium pretty neat i'm going to jump ahead i'm going to solve for the maximum combo rider premium of two hundred fifty thousand. that's for the combo rider using any base premium in this particular instance what you should understand about the combo rider is you select the the base premium the client selects the base premium that they know they can pay that they want to pay that they can't have in this instance over here, I'm gonna use a $3 million base face amount. The premium for that, for this particular individual, is $41,000, right? That allows me to put in 200, a total of 291. The combo rider premium, in order to do that, the maximum I can put in is 4.2 million. Again, if I show you this over here, the more premium I put in, the sooner that this is going to be done now in this particular instance the client puts in the 291 for five years and has 4.2 million dollars of paid up additions death benefit right away pretty cool now let me just say this what happens if you run into clients who want higher paid up additions amount what if you run into that I actually got off the phone on Friday with a client who wants to put in a million dollars. What will they have to do? Well, they can't use the combo rider because of that limitation of the 250. And the 250 is just an arbitrary number that Security Mutual picked out. If you have clients who want to put in more, you can always ask us for an exception. But here, without any exceptions, you can use the enhanced paid up additions rider. So take a look at this. I have my female a 57 preferred non-smoker take a look at this policy design it's a 2.5 million dollar base death benefit the premium is 53,000 why is it 53 because remember I have a limitation 20 times the base in order to do this to get the million I have I'm gonna add my 10-year level term rider of 15 million that the cost for that is $30,000 $30, a year. Hey, that's a lot of money. But what that allows me to do is to put in a million eighty-four into the contract. So what's that going to look like on the enhanced paid-up additions rider? And I call this a maximum efficient contract because I am minimizing the base in order to get the maximum paid-up additions rider in. Take a look at this over here under tabular detail. First year, I put in a million eighty-four of my million-dollar paid-up additions rider guaranteed. Nine hundred forty-eight thousand shows up. What's my annual dividend? Oh, only eighteen thousand three hundred ninety-two. Pretty nice. Add those two numbers together. What's my total surrender value in year one? It's nine hundred sixty-six thousand. Remember, I'm telling you, it's ninety-six to ninety-seven percent of your paid-up addition shows up immediately. There it is. Hey, where is my break-even? Hey, I'm broken even almost by year two, by year three, four, five, by year six, I'm going to break even. Pretty neat. And that's on a guaranteed basis. Can I continue to put a million dollars into the policy? Yes. 
what is the total death benefit in year one? It's 19 million. Yes. Are there people out there who can qualify for that? Sure. I was talking to an agent who had a client who claims, a doc who claims $4 million a year. What could be their total death benefit that they would qualify for that Security Mutual wouldn't blink an eye about? 80 million bucks. Could this work for them? It sure could. Absolutely. So, what I want to do is have another blow your mind there. The full offset on this particular policy is one year. Is it possible that the client could put in the million dollars and stop doing it? They could. I wouldn't say it's the most efficient way to do things, but guess what? They could do this in one year. At the end of the 10 years, or look at year 11, whatever, they would have bought this $19 million, $18 million death benefit at the cost of uh, $100,000 a year starting in year 12. Notice the cash surrender value. It's a million 31, year 13 there with a $3 million death benefit. Pretty nice. Now, remember I was telling you there was another feature of the paid up editions, enhanced paid up editions rider. We call it the catch up provision. It opens up a two year window on this. So, what does this all mean? Well, the problem is, I can't, I'm sorry, but I can't illustrate it. But think about this since this is an exercise in imagination for your clients. You could, in this instance, skip the paid up editions um, rider amount in years of a million bucks in years two and three and in year four you could put in a total of three million dollars of paid up additions plus the base premium in year four restore the contract just like that are your clients looking for that kind of flexibility that's the kind of flexibility that we have here at security mutual for more information about anything Security Mutual about our illustrations for brainstorming cases, please understand that you can call myself, here's my telephone number, Mike Lighty, who's my colleague here in the New York City Regional Office, and then Tracy Leslie and Lisa Canfield up in Binghamton. They are experts who've been with the company each for over 20 years. They know banking inside and out. They know our products inside and out you're able to do whatever you would like to do. And with that, Sandy, I know that my time has uh, come to uh, come ne to an end. Never, Marty. Like, never. I could listen to this all day. <laughs> I'm going to switch real quick um, and put out another poll question. Uh, I cannot stress enough how the amount of knowledge and just information on this private financing that Marty and Security Mutual have, it is second to none. If you are curious about it, you wonder about it, everyone that he mentioned from himself to Lisa Canfield, they are truly experts in this field. Here at IMS, we'll be more than happy to answer your questions, run quotes. Uh, that Life and Annuity Academy that we spoke about, we have a uh, top producer, uh, Anthony Lawrence, will do a presentation on this. Security Mutual is just a good friend of IMS. Uh, we're very fortunate to have them and their knowledge and for their uh, graciousness to help us and agents like you understand this process. I uh, also wanted to remind everyone that with Security Mutual, it is up to a million dollars in death benefit with absolutely no type of exams or labs. So um, great company. I hope everyone is checking yes if you're not already contracted to get contracted with uh, Security Mutual. Also, uh, everyone who has registered will receive this recorded version of this webinar. I will send that out to you later on this afternoon. And we have another webinar coming up uh, with Security Mutual, and uh, Marty will get the information out on that as well. Um, again, everyone, thank you so much. Just a little bit more time in regards to the contracting. Uh, Marty, do you have anything additional that we need to add? Uh, 
I would just say that again, we're here. If if you want to get a hold of the handout that I have here, please contact me, and uh, I'll be happy to share it with you. And I'll happy to be even go over it in detail. If I'm not around, certainly Mike Mike Lighty and I can do that too. All right. And Sandy, am I on the schedule for next Monday? Mm, I don't. I'll have to look on next Monday. I don't believe next Monday, but I believe. Uh, I October 1st, we have you. I'll check and make sure to get that information out. Very good, very good. And that'll be on, that'll be a base primer, talking about our policies and how they work, and it'll have a lot of great information just on the whole life. Correct. All right. Well, I appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, everyone have a wonderful, safe, and uh Great week. Again, Marty, thank you so much for your time. Any questions, you can contact myself, Sandy Bikani, uh, or you can contact Marty. And again, these slides will be available to everyone. I'll send them out this afternoon. Thank you so much, and everyone have a great week.